interval for our population mean. Now, mahalaga na naiintindihan nyo yung word problem sa confidence interval para magamit nyo yung formula sa pagkuha ng range of values na kakailanganin natin to estimate the population parameter, mu. Now, ang unang-unang nyo kailangang hanapin kapag nag-solve uh, kayo ng problems or word problems involving confidence interval is yung mga given values like yung population mean, kung given, or population standard deviation, sample mean, sample standard deviation, sample size, and so on. So, kailangan makuha nyo at makita nyo sa word problems yung mga values na yan para masagutan nyo ng tama yung confidence interval. Now, simulan natin to sa ating first example. From a normally distributed population, we took an SRS of 500 students. SRS means simple random sample. With a mean score of 461 on the math section of the SAT. Suppose the standard deviation of the population is 100. What is the estimated mu or population mean for 95% confidence level? Now, yung una nating step is i-organize natin yung mga given numerical values na maaaring makatulong sa atin sa pagsagot ng confidence interval. At iyon yung sample size na 500 kasi meron tayong SRS or simple random sampling of 500 students. Yung sample mean which is 461 points. Nakuha natin yan kasi sabi dito with a mean score of 461 from the sample. Now, yung ating confidence level is 0.95 at ang ating population standard deviation is 100 at alam natin na, to, na ito ay population because it says here, suppose the standard deviation of the population is 100. Yung second step is kailangan nating ma-verify yung mga conditions ng estimation of our population parameter for mean. At yun yung 1 randomly selected by yung sample, and two, galing ba sa normally distributed population yung ating sample. At parehas yan ay nasatisfy dito sa ating word problem. Sabi dito, from a normally distributed population, so yung first condition is checked kasi um, normal yung population, and two, simple random sample. So that means the 500 students that we're using are randomly selected. Kaya yung two conditions are satisfied. So, pwede na nating mag-proceed sa step number 3 at yun yung paghanap ng Z-star or yung critical value ng ating confidence interval. And to do that, we have a formula which is 1 minus C all over 2. So, yung Z-score ng 0.95 is equal to 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2. Now, kailangan yung gumamit ng Z-table or ng calculator to find the actual value of that Z-score which gives us 1.960. So, yung Z-star ng 0.95 is 1.960 using our formula. So, ito yung step 1, ito yung step 2, ito yung step 3. Now, yung uh, pinaka-importante is yung step 4 which is gagamitin na natin yung formula to compute for the confidence interval. Now, sa so step number 4, inorganize ko uli yung mga given values natin na gagamitin natin sa formula. We have 0.95 which is your confidence level, your sample size of 500, your sample mean of 461, the population standard deviation of 100, and the Z star which is equal to 1.960. Now, to illustrate yung confidence interval, normally distributed yung population nyo, kaya meron tayong normal curve, yung gitna yung inyong population mean na hindi natin makukuha or makukompute yung exactong value niya, pero makukuha natin yung range of values na makakapture dun sa mu by using our formula, which is x bar plus or minus z star times sigma all over the square of n for 95% confidence level. Now, to use the formula, since nakahanda na yung mga kakailangan nating number, i-plug in nyo lang doon sa formula yung inyong mga values. So, x bar is 461 plus or minus the z star of 1.960 times standard deviation, which is 100, and your sample size of 500. Now, just use your calculator to compute or simplify your equation, and you'll have 461 plus or minus 1.960 times 4.72, which is basically your standard error. Multiply it to 1.960, and you'll have 8.765, which is your margin of error. Now, para makuha natin yung dalawang values na kung saan nakakapture niya daw yung true population mean, 
i-add and minus nyo lang si margin of error which is 8.765 sa 4621 and you'll have two values which is 452.23 points at 469.77 points. Ito yung lower and ito yung upper. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating uh, true population mean will be captured by our confidence interval given by these two numbers right here using our formula. Now, to conclude, we are 95% confident that the true population mu for uh, the score of the math section of the SAT lies between 452.23 points and 469.77 points.